Hello, I'm Tom Wright speaking to you from my study in Oxford in England. I very much hope that in this election year, it's an election year for us in the UK, like for my friends in the United States, the book that Mike Bird and I have written, Jesus and the Powers, will help us to think wisely about the many issues that we face. As I try to see my way from the New Testament into the present situation, I'm aware of three dangers in particular. One is that we easily in the modern world lurch towards this or that party or candidate as though they've got all the answers, as though they are the Messiah who is going to lead us into God's future without error and without any stumbling. We already have a Messiah, it's Jesus and all human leaders that we might elect or choose are simply people who have a responsibility for certain things for a certain time and we need to pray for them but not imagine that they are going to be the great superhero. Second, it's all too easy for us to lump all the issues on one side of the paper or the other side so that if we vote this way we're putting a check by all these boxes and if we vote that way we're putting a tick by all those boxes. Real issues in the real world do not bundle up that neatly and part of the challenge of the New Testament is to think wisely about all the issues and recognise that there are compromises and difficulties faced on all fronts and to vote accordingly. But thirdly, we need to recognise that we live in a world of empire Jesus grew up under the shadow of the Roman Empire. Paul did all his work under the shadow of Rome. And we see Jesus announcing the kingdom of God and dying at the hands of the empire. But we see Paul then confronting Caesar's world with Jesus' new world and doing so cheerfully, holding up a mirror to power, telling the authorities where they were getting things wrong and so on. We in the Western Empire, Britain, America, all the countries that relate to us, Western Europe and so on, we have lived with our own empire uh, in different forms for quite a long time. There was a time in Britain when we had an empire on which the sun never set. We have spent a hundred years repenting of that, counting the cost and wondering if we should have done things differently. And I hope that my friends in other parts of the world may not have to go through such a difficult and painful rethinking later on because we do have responsibilities. If we've got that position, we have responsibilities to our neighbours, to those who are knocking on our doors and saying, what about us? The refugee crisis isn't an accident. The pandemic wasn't an accident in that sense. These are things which remind us that we are part of the larger global family. So watch out for the Messiah complex, watch out for the false bundling up of issues and take seriously the fact that God's kingdom holds all empires to account, including our own. I hope you enjoy the book.